This is my player piano. Uh, probably this is around the 1920s or 30s, uh, but obviously I have modified it a little bit uh, with a lot of wires. Uh, 88 wires individually to control each key uh, from my laptop. There's this USB cable, runs into the back. Then, ooh, it's a little dark, but this is a stack of eight circuit boards that I designed and had printed in China uh, and in Arduino. Uh, the Arduino and the computer communicate just over normal serial communication, and then the Arduino sends on a series of square waves basically to a whole bunch of shift registers that let me control all 88 keys of the piano. Uh, there's also some Darlington transistors in there to act as an amplifier to drive each of these little solenoids. Uh, the solenoids lift up a small ball bearing that's inside of this aluminum housing, and in doing so, they open up a tiny little port for air to get in. Uh, the original piano is, well, it's pneumatic, but it's actually operated off of a vacuum as opposed to air pressure like we're normally used to today. Okay, I got it threaded on now. You'll see that there's all these little holes in the paper and the paper sits over that track of holes on the tracker bar, and sometimes a hole in the paper lines up with a hole in the tracker bar. You can kind of see that right there. And when that happens, the paper is basically acting as a valve and lets air into that little hole, which is exactly the same thing that my valves down here do. So all my valves are doing is opening up an alternative way for air to get into these chambers back here. So my system basically becomes completely reverse compatible. You can either use my system to vent those chambers, or you could use the original piano roll. So this lets you run an old pneumatic piano like this without removing the ability to play a piano roll. I can play this piano roll right now. Uh, you, This has been also retrofitted by a previous owner with a, I think, I think there's a vacuum cleaner in there, that's what it sounds like, uh, to generate the vacuum that runs the system, rather than pedaling it because it's pretty worn out and the seals are old so you can barely pedal fast enough to get it to run so they had to retrofit it with a vacuum cleaner so this is going to be kind of loud. Now, the only thing you have to do if you want to switch between using a piano roll and using the computer to play it is you do have to cover these holes. So you can either do that by just putting a roll in here, a paper roll, and just positioning it where there are no notes so that it covers this and just leaving it be, you know, stop the feed system from running. Uh, or I usually just cover it up with electrical tape. So I'll do that right now. All right, so now I have it covered by some electrical tape. Uh, it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but Normally, of course, this entire opening would be <coughs> covered by that. Uh, so <laughs> I have it off so I can, you can see everything that's going on in here. Uh, so there's a power supply up here that I have put in there that powers it. Uh, you can hear there's a fan in there running. That's to keep the Darlingtons cool so they don't overheat because they're being operated pretty much right at their maximum capacity. Uh, the solenoids ended up drawing a little more current than I had anticipated. So we can turn it on again. <laughs> and the Python script that I wrote that runs on the computer reads in an MIDI file. There's a basic command line interface to specify what file you want. And at some point I'll probably redo that with the, some kind of GUI to make it a little bit more user friendly. Um, but after doing that, again, communicate to the Arduino. Arduino sends that input to shift registers, which then pass it on to the Darlingtons, which actually fire the solenoids, which releases the air, and <laughs> plays all the notes. You do have to mess around with the pressure. Uh, there's some potentiometers on the vacuum cleaner to get the internal vacuum. I guess it's the vacuum, you know, you know what I mean. 
reduced pressure just right uh, because it is a little temperamental. I'm probably going to make a version 2 of this that doesn't have that same problem. It 